Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to monetize your Microsoft Edge extension. You know, whether you've been wanting to accept one-time payments, subscription payments, whatever it is, it's going to be really, really easy to do and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in this video. So we're going to be using our system Browserville to do so. It just makes it so much easier because we've done all the hard work for you. We've set up all the back end. It's basically just your job to add a few lines, add the SDK and you're done. So yeah, we'll get right into it. The first thing you're going to need to do is go to browserbuild.com. I'm going to leave the link to it in the description. Um, once you're at our website, then just on the home page while we're here, because we're going to need them later, you may as well just open up the getting started and the SDK links at the top. Now you can do this later, but this is just going to have our getting started tutorial, which is where we're going to be getting the code from. And this is our um, GitHub page, which has our SDK, which we need to add to um, the extensions code. So we may as well just open those up now. And so once you've done those, you're gonna wanna create an account. I obviously already have an account, but you're gonna need to create an account, You know, confirm your email, log in. Once you've done those, you'll be taken to the dashboard. Now, this is where we can actually get into getting the extension set up. So once you're on the dashboard, you'll see extensions here. Just create a new extension. And so you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna do edge tutorial. Um, and then this code here, this is basically the code that we use to identify it in the in the actual JavaScript code that we're writing. So just do it something memorable, something short. It doesn't really matter. You can have it as literally whatever you want. It It's just gonna be something that you're gonna um, add to your code. So I'm just gonna call it edge dash tutorial. Okay, create. So once we've created the extension, we're going to be taken to the extensions actual page. Um, and now we need to create a plan. So obviously just click new here, or you can click the new plan button. Um, again, just come up with a name for your plan. So this is what the users are actually going to be purchasing. This is the name of the thing they're going to be purchasing. So it often it's just going to be like pro plan or something. Um, the price, this is in USD. You can set it to whatever you want. Um, we can set it to $10 one time, but obviously we have the options for monthly and yearly, but just for, um, just for this one, we're going to do one time. It doesn't change anything. It's the exact same process. If you want to do monthly, monthly or yearly, then click create plan. And so now we have our plan created. There's one thing to note here is the ID of the plan. So this ID is 19. We're going to need that for later, just so you know where it is. Um, and so, yeah, the two things we're going to need to remember for our code and which we can check back for are the actual, um, the code and the ID of the plan. So that's all the um, stuff we need to set up on the dashboard. That's all set up and ready to go. So now we can actually create the code itself. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to get the actual SDK from um, GitHub. So we opened it up before. Now you can do this in a variety of ways. You can um, you know, download it as a zip, you can clone it, you can do what I'm gonna do here, which is the really lazy way and just literally copy the code and create a file called this. Um, so I'll create a file called browser bill sdk.js. And I'm gonna paste all that code in. Now I don't need to change anything there. That's all done for me. So that's all I need to do there. And then after that, we need to create the manifest. So the manifest, this is basically, if you haven't created an extension before, I'm assuming you have if you're watching this video, but if you haven't, then this just provides some metadata about the extension. So we're gonna be getting it from the uh, getting started tutorial. This is what we're gonna be doing. So we're just gonna copy that code, paste it in here. Um, this has just some basic details about it. Everything is kind of irrelevant here. You can just customize it as you need, except for this line, just keep that. Um, this line here is basically saying the, that when the user clicks the icon in the toolbar that we want the popup.html to show, which we're gonna be creating in the next step. And then this one is probably one of the more important parts. This is needed for Browsable. The Browsable needs to be able to um, create storage. So it needs to be able to store um, you know, the user's ID so it can tell whether they paid or not. Um, but yeah, nothing to change here. This is just good and ready to go. And so now once we have done that, uh, the next step is to create the pop-up. So pop-up.html, uh, we're just going to call it that .html, paste in that code. Again, don't need to change anything here. We've done it for you, but some things to note, 
we are importing the browser build SDK. This is important. We need this. Otherwise, popup.js will not have access to it. Next line, we're importing popup.js. Um, this is what we're going to create in the next step. And this is going to be probably the most important code that you're going to see here, which holds all of our logic. Um, just some things to note, um, even though you'll see it, if you know HTML, you'll be able to um, tell that we're using bootstrap and that we have got here. This is basically just going to say the status of whether they paid or not. And we're going to be changing this. And then we also have a purchase and manage button, which we're going to be controlling whether they show or not in the next step, as well as what they do when they're clicked in the next step. But now we get onto the more, the probably the most interesting part and the most important part, which is the actual uh, logic for popup.js. So again, copy the code from the getting started tutorial, then pop up.js, paste it in. Okay. So this, we do need to change some things here. The first thing is the extension code. So as I said before, you're going to need to get this from what you created here. So copy your code and paste it in. Next step, the plan ID. Like I was saying, we need the plan ID, which is there. Okay, so that's all we need to change. Now we're just going to kind of go through this just so you understand what's happening here. So we're creating an instance of browser bill with our extension code. So we're saying, you know, anything, any calls we're making are related to this extension. Then this is going to run and it's going to get the user's information and in particular, whether they paid. So as you can see, we have the data and then it, we're going to, this is a Boolean paid and it's true if they have paid false that they haven't. So if they have paid, then we're going to hide the payment button, show the manage button and set the paid status to paid. And then, so here down here, we have the logic for the on-click handler for the payment button. So when they click the payment button, we open a payment page and it's for this plan ID. And then so the manage button. So when they click the manage button, we open the management page. Really, really easy. You know, we try to make it as easy as possible, just having one line calls for all, everything. Um, and so now that's pretty much all the code we have to do. Now we can actually try out the extension that we've made. So if you want to go back to Microsoft Edge, click the three dots and then go to extensions, then click manage extensions. So make sure you have developer mode enabled down here. It's going to be disabled by default. Then once you've done that, click load unpacked um, and then find the uh, folder which contains all your code. So mine's here um, and just click select folder. So at the top, if you click here and we can uh, show it. So now we have the browser bill um, extension that we just made. As you can see, <coughs> current status is unpaid. Um, and then we have the purchase button here. So if I click purchase, it's just going to have the payment page come up. And, um, you know, as you can see the name of the extension that we set, the name of the plan that we set, we set it as $10, um, purchase. We can do this. This is just gonna be a test purchase cause we're in test mode by default. Um, and then purchase successful. So as you can see, return to the, uh, extension and now current status is paid. So if I click manage. It should take me to the management page where I can see, you know, my current purchases. There we go. There's my purchase that I just made then. Um, and yeah, that's really it. It's really that simple. You can modify the code as you see fit and, you know, integrate it into your own extension. It's really, really simple, really, really basic. We made it as easy as possible. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one.